Hey guys, welcome back to the Mega Man X Let's Play. We are going to be going through Flame Mammoth Stage. Normally, Flame Mammoth Stage would be... Flamey. You know, fire, lava, all the jazz. Well, we defeated Chill Penguin, right? Okay, what does that have to do with anything? Well, about that. There's ice on the ground. There's ice over here. That would be lava, normally. And normally we'd be having to do the path that I'm taking right now. However, because we did defeat Chill Penguin first, during Flame Mammoth stage, we don't have to use these moving platforms. We can just go like this. Screw conveyor belts. They're for the weak-minded. <laughs> Ow, and apparently me. Okay. This is the only time you're going to see me save state during this LP, other than at the end of episodes. Because I get tired of re screwing up this jump all the time. See those blocks up there? And remember the helmet ability we just got? What I can do, if I can get time it right. Also, also very awesome music. Come on, get up there, get up there. There we go. Secret area. What's that? Another capsule. <gasps> For me? What's in here? This capsule contains a part which will increase the ca capabilities of your X Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Sweet! New gun! Well, let's see what it does. Alright, turns my arms a different color, I like it. Charge. And... Kablam! Pink shot of death. Bring it, Sigma. Or in this case, Flame Mammoth. This allows you to use each of the uh, boss abilities, special abilities with them. Uh, such as... Uh, Shotgun Ice would turn into an Ice Sled, if you charged it up. Uh, Storm Tornado will turn into a... Uh, kind of a hurricane type thing. It'll, it'll fire tornadoes in both, both directions, uh, vertically. Pretty useful, pretty powerful, but... You won't see me ever using those, besides possibly Sting Chameleons. Because the rest of them are... Not really that useful to me. Whoa! Ow. Why am I going over here, you ask? Besides from the nifty one-up? I am going over here... for this! You saw me just get the heart container. Here is the, the other E-tank. There are two more to be found. And I'll show you where those are later. But for now, let's just take this and go. Whatcha! Yeah, that's right. Mega Man tearing up the streets. I like this level a lot. I think I, I really enjoy the way it's designed. It's kind of short, but, uh, you know, it gets the job done. Cha -cha. Oops. And really, if you want to, you can uh, stay here and farm to fill up your E-tanks, but it's not really worth it. I don't feel like farming. I'm not a farmer, I'm a robot. I'm here to destroy things. As Dr. Light said, it's an unfortunate time, but I was... I'm now forced to fight, so, uh, I'm gonna do so. And I choose to fight Flame Mammoth. There was a recent port... I'm not sure if it's recent anymore, but there was a port of this game over to the, uh, PlayStation Portable. It was kind of a remake. They, uh, Updated all the graphics, changed all the music around. But they also added dialogue between the characters, making it seem that X knew these robots beforehand. Hmm. Coincidence? Think not, do I? Do, 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 do. Actually, I think he has the most epic introduction because you have to slide over to him. Now, each of the bosses has a weakness. What's his weakness, do you ask? That! He's weak to the tornado. And, as you would think, the, um, 
Fire and Ice would have some kind of codependency. Well, you're correct. Um, Shill Penguin, who I didn't get a chance to show you his weakness because I didn't have any powers yet, his weakness is to Flame Mammoth's Fire. Which is okay. No, it's not really that necessary. But any of the weaknesses will make things a hell of a lot easier. That fight probably would have taken a little bit longer, but uh, I'm not too mad. You'll be seeing me try to use the weaknesses on all the other bosses, though, for simplicity's sake. And because I'm a cheating bastard. You get Fire Wave! You know what? You guys are actually going to see me do a little bit of backtracking in this episode, because I have to go get the heart tank from, um, from Chill Penguin's stage. There was an area that I didn't show you before. Eh, not really for good reason, but just because it wasn't necessary. So allow me to elaborate and get past the Lumberjacks. This area is also a lot easier to go through now that you have the uh, speed boost. Oops. Okay, I say that and I get hit by a bunny. Screw you, Lumberjack. You know, if your bats are smoking like that, you probably want to take, take them to get, go get serviced. I mean, because that's not a good sign. When your bats are on fire and smoking like that, it's uh, usually about time that you go get their oil changed. You hear that sound, that ticking sound? Every time I pick up an E-tank? Or a um, ca life capsule? That is my en energy tank filling up. My spare tanks. Oops. And once you hear a little dinging sound, as opposed to the little chirps, it means that those are full, and the next one will be starting to, f uh, starting to be filled. Simple as that. And there's no capsule here, because we already have the speed booster. So let's go! Uh, we are almost there. Sorry, I know it's a lot of backtracking. It's pretty much at the halfway point of the level, or maybe a little bit after. So it's quite a bit of stepping. Luckily, most of these level levels are pretty short. BAM! I love doing that. Now, keep in mind, yeah, that's the sound that you hear whenever your life tanks get filled. Now, that robot can punch these houses apart. Okay, that's fine. This can do it too. And there's the life capsule. Never would have known about it otherwise, would you? Uh-huh, nope. And with that, if you've already beaten the level, you can just hit escape, press start, and you are back to the main boss screens. Alright, state saved. The next video, we'll be taking on the dreaded, the horrible, the unspeakable Boomer Quanger. Actually, no we're not. You know what? I'll decide whenever I get there. For now, I'll see you kids later.